Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Practicon. My name's Sid. And you might have noticed I wander around this place a lot. One of the things I've noticed is that Practicon's done a lot of things to spruce things up here lately. They've painted some walls, they've changed the decor. Well, they haven't changed the decor, but they've painted some walls and they've done some fantastic new things in the bathroom. You might have noticed there's these brand new towel dispensers. I think they're called the XL2000K Plus. It's on page 645 in your catalog. They put those things in and they're fantastic. But one thing I've noticed, they're a little complicated. How do you change the towels? What do you do when the battery dies? I'm nervous about that, and I want you to have those answers, so we're going to look into it today. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I think the new XL2000K is in this bathroom right here. Let's go check it out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, hey, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought that was a men's room. Don't forget to knock first. As always, it's really important to have the proper tools and equipment when attempting a repair job, such as changing the roll of an XL2000K. I'll demonstrate the proper procedures here for us all. Oh, as always, safety first here at Practicum. Let's see. Saw, hammer. There's a little crevice right here. If you take your wrench, put it in the crevice, get a hammer, and a good forceful strike like this. You will... Sid! Stop! What are you doing? Jennifer, I was going to show how to demonstrate the changing process of these new XL2000Ks. Oh, no, 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 Sid. All of these are brand new and they come with a key. A key? A key. I thought this was the key. The key and the, every a... cabinet has a key. Oh, and wow. This is what you, all you need to change the paper towels. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why Jennifer Moore is in charge of this place. So now that we have the key, thanks to Jennifer, I think this will be a lot easier. Got my safety glasses on. Just be safe. Okay, you take the key. And there's a little hole up here, you press in the hole, it releases the front, gently pull down the front, you realize, hey, there's some paper towels in there. Now, if it was empty, there would be no paper towels, just a, a brown tube. What you do is pull off on each arm to release the paper towels. Pull those free. And you might notice there's an easy handy dandy instruction, step by step right here for those of you who can't follow along with this high level instruction. But anyway, you'll take a brand new roll of paper towels, in the same manner, place it between the two flipperty gibbets, Make sure it's in there well balanced. And my friend and Marty in the warehouse gave me a tip. He said, if you fold this straight across, you take this paper towel, put it right under the black roller there, into a little crevasse, roll it forward, so it's nice and even. This needs to be under the blue. And when it's done, close it. Move your magic hand. Move your magic hand. Move your magic hand. <laughs> And voila! Perfect! In addition to paper towels being out, you may run into the circumstance where the paper towel machine just doesn't seem to be working. Well, it could be a number of problems, but most likely it's a simple battery outage. And I'll demonstrate now how to replace the batteries. First thing, safety glasses. Second thing, key in the cabinet. Remember, Jennifer, thank you. Plug the key into the top hole, pull forward gently, revealing the paper towels, but also here, Oh, by the way, you'll notice there's a red indicator light that which, which will be on. It's not red now because the batteries are fine, but it would be on if said batteries were not fine. Here within the compartment is a simple gray compartment you lift up. pulls out to reveal four D-sized batteries. If we don't have any D-sized batteries in the back, you can borrow the jumper cables from Reggie and just kind of zap it a couple times, and I think it puts it right back to life. So that about wraps it up, folks. It looks like the XL2000K is working fine. All are happy. Remember, here at the Practicon, we're all about making dentistry better. If you have any questions about that or anything else, feel free to call Scott Griffin, 757 L O V E.